TR, welcome to Seattle. Oh, thank you, Jim. Really excited to get this plywood shoot going. Yeah, there we go. Well, you've had a long time relationship with Dunn Lumber and Michael Dunn, and maybe you could just talk a little bit about your start in the industry and sure. kind of what, what it's led to up to today. Yeah, so when I uh, started working after college, uh, I went to Georgia Pacific, who uh, had a large timber holding here in the Northwest and, and mills as well. And, so I went, I went down to the Coquille, Oregon, which is in the Coos Bay area, and, and I worked in a mill down there for a few years. And then I ended up going and working in the woods for a couple of years. And it was an, an interesting time because it was a transitional phase in the, in the industry in the 80s. Um, at that point in my career, though, I, I had moved into sales and was at Roseburg Forest Products. And that's where I met Michael, okay. uh, Mike Dunn. And he came down and played golf one day with me. And I think I shot, you know, one of the best nine holes of my life. We teed off at dawn and it was crazy. And he, he must have thought I was like going to go on the tour or something. And I was like, this is ridiculous. This doesn't happen like this ever. But anyway, we got to know each other then and we started doing some business. And we ended up uh, making a product called Super Ply, which is that hardwood face plywood that you guys still have in your yards today. Excellent product. Um, product. And, uh, we just built a friendship and a, and a kinship. And uh, when I went to work for Hampton in 1995, which was basically, you know, where you where you went if you didn't want to do mill sales, but you still wanted to be in the sales game. And it's a straight commission kind of build your own business deal. I started calling on Mike and uh, and I believe you guys had a, a contract with an OSB supplier that no longer exists. Yeah. And uh, he was looking for a solution. And I was like, well, I can do that for you. <laughs> and uh, and one thing led to another and we built a VMI situation that's evolved into what we have today where it's just order now, get tomorrow kind of thing, uh, hopefully. And uh, it's been a great relationship. So we sure appreciate the business and yeah. it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, well, I know it's amazing all the different things. Even when I was back in an operations role, you guys were sourcing VG fur finished lumber for us. Yeah. I mean, it's been all kinds of things that you've helped supply done. Right, so right. We really appreciate that, and I'm thrilled to do this series because, as you just shared, your experience and and what you can add today will be big. So you know, we can touch on a little bit of history that you know, we're both learning on that. That's always an interesting right. <laughs> interesting session. Uh, manufacturing, best practices, some installation, just maybe some tips that help people stay out of the weeds. Because you and I have been down that road and gosh, you get you get a claim going and it's, it's never fun and it's never pretty. No, it can be frustrating, but if you do it right, it can be pretty easy schmeasy, honestly. You just gotta, know the steps to take and and you know manufacturers don't always get it right and uh, installers don't always get it right so you, you just got to kind of figure it out yeah so. well again appreciate having you here today i'm looking forward to this yeah thank you jim it's a pleasure to be here <laughs> <laughs>